Hi right, guys, someone sent me a PS4. Okay, so this is a PS4 model. Alright, so I believe this is a fat edition, the first PS4 model that was launched. Okay, and I think it's got a problem. Okay, so when I power this on, okay, you can see blue light, but as you can see here on HDMI, it says no signal. And for this problem, guys, um, I've tried the uh, reboot to safe mode by holding this power button and here two beeps, but it doesn't want to go to safe mode. Okay, so I believe this problem is a blue light of death. Okay, B L O D. This is a problem. Uh, if you if you have a PS4 and it's showing something like this, the blue light of death. All right, don't despair, all right, because this can be fixed. Uh, today, let's go and I'm going to show you how how we're going to dismantle the whole thing. And we're going to do a deep cleaning and maybe apply some new thermal paste. Just, uh, just listen to the fun. As you've probably heard, it is doing uh, some loud noises. So uh, I believe that uh, it is very dusty, okay? Okay, hey, see this. See? Vamos ver tu ver que tu comer la puxia, não? 
Mais là, ce que nous faire, ça nous connaît sur lecteur DVD. Je boutier ali, Je boutier ali à part. Correct. Sur le câble Bluetooth ou Wi-Fi, ça va, je vous tirer. Et là, je vais appeler une New Semal Paste. Je vais tirer ça. C'est que ça, non, mais ça, sur Heat Sync, ça. Correct. Là, sur le ventilateur, comment on va trouver là? Le ventilateur là, c'est sale. Comment on va trouver que le guet en dehors est combien ça? Combien de sale? It is dusty. Ok? I'm gonna clean all of this. And I'm gonna apply a new thermal paste and then I'm gonna reassemble it. Uh, from this point, if you want to take out the whole motherboard out, you'll have to remove the first two screws. Unfortunately for us, there's, there is no screws attached. Okay, so yeah, let's get started. If you could see this, the thermal paste has been dried. Okay, thermal paste is dried. As you can see there. Alright, this is a CPU chipset. So you have to clean this chunk, goop, and apply new thermal paste. And uh, reattach the board, rescrew it in. Okay. Alright, so yeah, this one is a SATA port right here is a uh, hard disk SATA port right, I think this is a uh, Wi-Fi built-in Wi-Fi with uh, connection I guess I'm gonna have to test this CMOS battery as well if it's still up and running if you're having any issue guys opening the security docks type of screws okay if you don't have the right screwdriver what i've used is this a knife a simple knife with a sharp end okay this a simple knife will open any security docks uh screws okay even try to open the security docks type of screws using a um, flathead screwdriver but it would not Okay, it just would not. It seemed nearly impossible to open it up. So I then use this knife. So let me show you what a security dox screws looks like. Let me show you how a security dox service is going to rest. How do you find a security service? A security head? Ça la tête là. Vous voyez? Voilà. Vous voyez là comment il était? Ça on appelle ça un security dox screw driver. Si vous êtes pas dans la qualité à tout vis là, vous êtes pas pour cave, démonte, ça l'appareil là. Mais, vous êtes besoin de servir, comme moi, moi, je servi un simple couteau à maison. Alright, so after deep cleaning and reapply some of the paste, all right, as you can see, I haven't put the back cover yet, and I've connected each and every cables. So now it's just a moment of truth. So let's see. And voila, as you can see the PS logo, guys. So, yep, now it works. You can see the PS logo right there. All right. Okay, as you can see, PS4, welcome back to PlayStation. Press the PS button on the controller. 